Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Dolphy Tutorials. This is for our grade 11s, but grade 12s can also watch to revise text files and arrays. And today we're going to remove duplicates from arrays. There are several methods of removing duplicates, but I find this one the easiest and it is a little bit of code that you could study. My method is using a new array to store the items from the original array without the duplicates. So since I have in my example three parallel arrays, I will declare three parallel new arrays, matching them up with the same data type and number as the original array. So idupia is my index for my new arrays without duplicates. And I'm going to use k to run through my original array that contains the duplicates. So from now on, when I say original array, that's the one that could contain duplicates. And inside of this loop, I'm starting with a B duplicates Boolean value and I'm setting it to false. And my inner loop here runs now using I check and I check is going to be used for my new array to loop from one to the number of items in this new array to check if the original array's values already appears here in the new array. Now, when I'm looping for the first time, I dup is zero. So, in other words, this loop will not execute at all because if we try to go from one to zero, our loop won't execute because we can't go to a lower number. So, when k is one, b duplicates will not be changed to true. It will stay false. So inside of this for loop for the k, I'm now testing if I have found duplicates. So this will be true now before k is equal to 1 because I haven't found any duplicates because my for loop I checked did not execute. So inside this if statement that still sits in the for loop for k, I'm incrementing I dup, which is the index for my new array without duplicates. And I'm adding the current name, surname and mark to these new arrays. So currently now array new name, surname and mark will only have one item. Here's the end of this if statement and here's the end of the for loop for k and then I'm going to the second person. So now k is 2. Duplicates are set to false again and now I'm looping from 1 to 1 because we incremented i dup so now it's equal to 1 and I'm comparing the person in position 1's name to the value that is stored in the second position of my original array with the duplicates. What I'm doing here is I'm searching for duplicate names and if I find a duplicate name I'm removing their name and surname and mark. So if number 1 is equal to number 2 of the two separate arrays, B duplicates will be changed to true and it will not execute this part of the code and it will go to the person in position 3. Duplicate starts at false again and now I'm looping from 1 to 1 because we didn't find we found a duplicate in the previous one so I dup is still 1. So if the person in position 3 is not equal to the person in position 1 then this will not execute. In other words B duplicates will still be false. So this will run again because duplicates is false and I'm now incrementing my index for my new array without duplicates. So this will become 2 and in the new array without duplicates position number 2 I'm putting the values of the person stored in 3. So the name, the surname and the mark and there's the end of the if and then I continue to loop all the way to I count. So when I'm done with this for loop here, in array new name will be values without duplicate names. And array name will still contain my values with the duplicates. Now this part here is really dependent on the question. If I was only required to display the arrays without duplicates, I can just display array new. But it could be possible that you have a procedure that displays the original array and that the requirement is that you display this original array. 
In this instance, you will have to overwrite the original array with the duplicates with the ones without the duplicates. So that's what I'm doing down here. I'm overwriting I count with I dupe. I dupe holds the number of items in my array without duplicates. And now my original array needs to have less values and that's why I'm placing this value over I count because I count still hold the value of the number of items with duplicates. And I'm just looping here now from one to I count and I'm simply taking the new items in my array in array new name without duplicates and I'm placing that over array name K which would be the array that had duplicates. So after this code here these arrays here won't have duplicates up to position I count. Now you must remember these changes that we've made is only in the RAM. So if it needs to be made permanent, then you would write a, the values of your array to your text file. Now only do this when the question's asking you to do it, else you're going to waste some time in your exam. This is now your time to practice. So go back into Learner Marks and press pause and try this question. So here is the memo for removing duplicates. I have declared local arrays for my four arrays without duplicates and they have the same data type as my original arrays with the duplicates. And they also have the same index. That is in case of not finding any duplicates so then the two arrays will hold exactly the same number of items. And here is idup that I'm using to keep track of the number of items in my array, in my new arrays without duplicates. And here's my k looping through my original arrays with duplicates. So there I am setting my boolean variable to false to check for duplicates. And I'm looping with I check through one to I do. And you will see everywhere where I use I check, that will refer to my new array. And wherever I'm using K, that will re refer to my original array. And the question asks you to find duplicates of names as, and surnames as a combination. In other words, if there were two John Smiths, not just two Johns. So as a combination, the name as well as the surname, I'm checking against duplicates. And then if I find duplicates, I said be duped to true. And then I was asked to display the duplicates in a rich edit red duplicates. And uh, here I could use either K or I check since they are the same value because it's inside of this if statement. Outside of this if statement, but still inside of my for loop, I'm now checking if B dupe is false. That means no duplicate value was found. I increment my duplicates index and then I take the original array and I'm putting it in my new array without duplicates. And here's the end of my if statement and the end of my for loop. And so I continue to the end of my array. So outside of this loop, I replaced I count with I dupe. And now I'm looping from one to I count and I'm placing the array without duplicates over the original array so that I can still make use of my display procedure as well as my write to file procedure with, which I'm using in here. So now my changes are permanent because I updated my text file to only contain the values of the array without duplicates. So we've reached the end of our arrays and text file section and now it's your time to practice some more. So I'd like you to go to this website here and do the supplementary 2016 question 3. And next time I'm going to show you guys how I've completed question 3 of the supplementary of 2016. So practice first and then only watch the video. Please feel free to leave some comments on what you would like to learn next and I'll see if I can accommodate you guys with some more videos. So I hope to see you soon.